Hey guys, and welcome to day six. So, you yesterday you would have had a uh, joint mobilise, a bit of a run, and a stretch down. So, what we're doing today is we are repeating the joint mobilise, and you're going to go through it twice, and the stretch, and you're going to go through it twice. So, no run today. It is purely joint mobilisations and stretches. And again, you're going to go through both of those sets twice through. And uh, and that's us for today. A really easy day. Okay. Uh, I did say we we're going to wind it down towards the end of the week because we are stepping up next week. So um, what you'll see uh, for the next phase of the video is a repeat of yesterday's session. Okay. Um, but remember, you don't have to go out for that run. Enjoy. Make the most of it. And I'll see you for day seven. Later. Right guys, so here's your mobility set, 9 exercises, 30 seconds each, 10 seconds between, I'll quickly give you a, a preview before you go into it, okay, so we've got a 15 second roll in, uh, you're trying to work through these, it's just, remember it's just preparing you, just mobilising, nice and easy, uh, and just hopefully just make the most out of the, the range of motion that we're trying to get, so here we go, we're going to start off with your shoulder rolls. Right, so it's 30 seconds on each, we'll just try and get halfway through and then change direction. Here we go, so that's forward ones. Let's try going backwards and we're really trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together, pushing them back, getting the traps up. This is the one that makes you squint in your face. Nice. Okay. So this time we're going to go from forward arm circling. Again, I just threw in a little bit of a knee bend. As we get round there, that's what we're going for first. Okay, so forward arm circling. Really reach round to the back, opening the palms up. Good. Change direction. cracker of a day for me this morning. Hopefully it's the same for you guys. Okay, so this time, bring my arms up. We're just going for a twist, a twist, but we're going to be building the pace up as we go. Oh, some lovely crunches coming out the back there. Here we go. So we're just throwing the arms around, keeping the hips facing forward. Really trying to get that trunk to twist. That's halfway, right then we're really going to pick up the pace and throw the arm so you're really getting the end of that range. Oh, I've got to keep my head straight, straight, I was getting a bit dizzy. Okay, so throwing into this one, keeping the trunk twisting theme, so we're going to go into just some windmills. Alright, here we go. I just put a little bit of a Knee bend to knee straighten as you twist. Really trying to get those arms over the top. And then you start throwing in the momentum. Make sure you haven't got any back pain, tweaks or twists. You might have some muscle ache from all the work you've been doing. But that is it. Okay. Keep them with the trunk. Going into some side bends, so a slightly wider stance. All right, and we're just going to go throwing over and over and over. Reach it right through. Feel that stretch down the side. And you're trying to keep your shoulder in line with your hip, and then your hip in line with your feet. And I am trying my best to do that. Almost there. Keep it going. Nice. Okay. So lunges. Just going to be a backward lunge. Up. Little stretch. Couple of seconds. Change. Stretch. There we go. So I can knock out two in ten seconds. Oh, and change. And change. And what we're looking for is that depth. 
and side twist. And really try and get the hips down so that when you're here, you're feeling it through the front. Okay, nice and wide, getting down into the hips now. We're in there, and we're just gonna roll into like a figure of eight. Try and keep your, up, your body as upright as you can. And then change direction. Just get those hips mobilized. You guys are in multi-directional sport. Really important. Keep them flexible. Got to work on strength though, especially when you're in season. Okay, so standing hip circles. There. Just moving them around. Here we go. Just join in as you hear the beeps. Good stuff. See Rocco's joined us again. Ten seconds guys, keep it going. Brilliant. Last one of this set. Down dog. We're all familiar with this now. So down dog. Into cobra. Down dog. Edge cobra. Try and push those heels to the floor. And then drop the hips down as best you can. I'm not going to bore you with my back surgery again. But this is good for me. Nice one. Okay, end of that set. So here we go, we're going to start off with your shoulder rolls. All right, so it's 30 seconds on each, we'll just try and get halfway through and then change direction. Here we go, so that's forward ones. Let's try going backwards and we're really trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together, pushing them back, getting the traps up. This is the one that makes you squint in your face. Nice. Okay, so this time we're going to go for forward arm circling. Again, I just threw in a little bit of a knee bend. Now if you get round there, that's what we're going for first. Okay, so forward arm circling. Really reach round to the back, opening the palms up. Good. Change direction. cracker of a day for me this morning. Hopefully it's the same for you guys. Okay, so this time, bring my arms up. We're just going for a twist, a twist, but we're going to be building the pace up as we go. Oh, some lovely crunches coming out the back there. Here we go. So we're just throwing the arms around, keeping the hips facing forward. Really trying to get that trunk to twist. That's halfway, right then we're really going to pick up the pace and throw the arm so you're really getting the end of that range. Oh, I've got to keep my head straight, straight, I was getting a bit dizzy. Okay, so throwing into this one, keeping the trunk twisting theme, so we're going to go into just some windmills. Alright, here we go. I'm just 
put a little bit of a knee bend to knee straighten as we twist. Really trying to get those arms over the top. And then you start throwing in the momentum. Make sure you haven't got any back pain, tweaks or twists. You might have some muscle ache from all the work you've been doing. But that is it. Okay. Keeping with the trunk, going into some side bends, so a slightly wider stance. All right, and we're just going to go throwing over and over and over. Reach it right through, feel that stretch down the side. And you're trying to keep your shoulder in line with your hip, and then your hip in line with your feet. And I am trying my best to do that. Almost there. Keep it going. Nice. Okay. So lunges. Just give me a backward lunge. Up. Little stretch. Couple of seconds. Change. Stretch. There we go. So I can knock out two in ten seconds. And change. And change. And what we're looking for is that depth and side twist really try and get the hips down so that when you're here you're feeling it through the front okay nice and wide getting down into the hips now we're in there and we're just going to roll into like a figure of eight Try and keep your up your body as upright as you can, and then change direction. Just get those hips mobilised. You guys are in multi-directional sport. Really important. Keep them flexible. Got to work on strength though, especially when you're in season. Okay, so standing hip circles, there, just moving them around, here we go, just join in as you hear the beeps. Good stuff, see Rocco's joined us again. Ten seconds guys, keep it going. Brilliant, last one of this set, down dog, we're all familiar with this now, so down dog, into cobra, down dog, into cobra, try and push those heels to the floor, and then drop the hips down as best you can, I'm not going to bore you with my back surgery again. This is good for me. <sighs> nice one. Okay, end of that set. Right guys, time for the uh, stretch down. So we've got 10, 10 exercises, we're going to do 30 seconds on each um, and then a 15 second turnaround this time purely so that I can get into position and hopefully show you what's coming up next, okay? So we will get started in 10 seconds, alright? So the first one we're going into, knee into the chest, heel towards the, toes towards the shins, heel up, pull in tight. And just try and straighten the leg as best you can. Alright, now the opposite leg you're trying to keep down 
and then you're trying to push up so you feel it in the belly, the hamstring here. Oh, I've got the sun on my face, it's so nice. Right, push, push, push. And as I say that, it goes behind a cloud. Keep it there. Now, if you start to shake, I'm giving it too much. So just feel that tension in the hip, in the, right in the belly of the hamstring. Good, good, good. Perfect. Right then, got one leg, let's go on the other. Knee into chest, heel up. All right. As we work through the, the forthcoming weeks, we will be looking at more dynamic stretches as well and changing the format of things. But we're looking for consistency so that you guys can get used to what we're doing. Good. Toes up. Push, push, push. And this is when I start showing how inflexible I actually am. I do work on it though, do my best. Almost there guys. Nice, and hold. Doing all this video is actually doing me a favour. Right, so we're into pigeons, all right, which is tucking that foot right underneath if you can. Get the hip forward to your hip, as square as you possibly can be, and then you drive the hip down into the floor. And you go down into my elbows, and you get that position there. Now, I'm not the best at this, but I do try. So just try and work where you can. Some of you get flatter, some of you might not be able to get down as far as I can. Just do what you can, feel the stretch, it shouldn't be painful, it should be a, a discomfort. Perfect. Okay, on to the opposite side. Here we are. And this is definitely my worst side. <laughs> Watch this way for the perfect demonstration. <laughs> and, oh, that's tight and that's sore. And I'm hoping some of you guys will be feeling it as well. Now, this is the real world. Instead of having Mr. Bendy on the, on the telly. <laughs> wow, that is tight today. I was hoping the sun was going to make me more flexible. Perfect, okay. Staying on the front, we've got prone quads. Okay, so we're going to start, doesn't really matter which one you start with. I'll just start with one that's facing you guys. Heel into your backside, knees close together, head down. Just pull that heel in so you feel that stretch through the quads. Now, I like it in this position because when you do it standing, you tend to cheat through your hip. You don't get as good a specific stretch in the quads. But with this, you can. And then you can even, if possible, pull your, heat, your knee off the deck. I struggle partly because of my back and partly because my quads are quite tight. But do what you can and just sustain that stretch best you can. Perfect. I'll go around the other side. You guys stay on your fronts. Again, heel in. And then I can definitely get more range in this one. So hopefully I can demonstrate the knee up. So it's there, hips flat on the floor. And keep that stretch on. Try and keep that sustained. That's halfway. You right there, Rocco? Ten seconds, guys. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go into like a downward dog position this time. So, I'm on the mats there. We're going to be here, and you're going to push, and then relax. And push, and relax. So it's a double, double calf. Some of you might feel a stretch when you're in that position like I do. Some of you might feel it when you're in that position. Right? But you're just trying to drive through the calves in both positions. It's there, and then push. Nice. And there, and push. And there, and push. Nearly at the end, guys. That's one. Perfect. Right, crucifix. 
did this one the other day. Let's hope I've got a bit, enough space. So, here, leg over, arms back. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me. I've been pumped full of lead. Oh, I've got cramp in my toe. Right. <laughs> and we're just there, shoulder over the far side. <laughs> it's awful. Well done, guys. So you should be feeling it down through here. I'm struggling to get my arm right over. Try and get your shoulders flat. Leg over the far side. In we go. I'm just going this way, otherwise I'll be smacking the fence. So into that crucifix position. Leg up. Twist over. Beautiful. Definitely better on this side for me. You guys might find you kick inside more flexible. There's definitely going to be a dis uh, discrepancy between your right and your left abilities. <sighs> nice. And this is one you can't actually, if you don't get cramp in your toe, you can relax nicely into. Perfect. Last one then. In the chance pose. Front all fours. Settle yourself in. Drop the, the back side back. Work those fingers forward. I really feel that stretch. After a few seconds if you want, you can walk your hands around one side. Keep the bum back. Feel that stretch. And then walk it around the opposite. Again, you should be feeling that stretch down through the lats here. <sighs> nice. And back into middle for the last few seconds. Really push down. First one we're going into, knee into the chest, heel towards the, toes towards the shins, heel up, pull in tight, and just try and straighten the leg as best you can. Alright, now the opposite leg you're trying to keep down, and then you're trying to push up, so you feel it in the belly, the hamstring here. Oh, I've got the sun on my face, it's so nice. Alright, push, 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 and as I say that, it goes behind a cloud. Keep it there, now you start to shake. I'm giving it too much, so just feel that tension in the head, in the right in the belly of the hamstring. Good, good, good. Perfect. All right then, got one leg. Let's go on the other. Knee into chest, heel up. All right. As we work through the, the forthcoming weeks, we will be looking at more dynamic stretches as well, and changing the format of things. We're looking for consistency so that you guys can get used to what we're doing. Good. Toes up. Push, push, push. And this is when I start showing how inflexible I actually am. I do work on it though. Do my best. Almost there, guys. Nice. And hold. Doing all this video is actually doing me a favour. Right, so we're into pigeons, all right, which is tucking that foot right underneath if you can. Get the hip forward here, as square as you possibly can be, and then you drive the hip down into the floor. And you go down into my elbows, and you get that position there. Now, I'm not the best at this, but I do try. So just try and work where you can. Some of you get flatter, some of you might not be able to get down as far as I can. Just do what you can, feel the stretch, it shouldn't be painful, it should be a, a discomfort. Perfect, okay, on to the opposite side. Here we are. 
this is definitely my worst side. <laughs> Watch this way for the perfect demonstration. <laughs> and oh, that's tight and that's sore. And I'm hoping some of you guys will be feeling it as well. Now, this is the real world. Instead of having Mr. Bendy on the on the telly. <laughs> It's tight today. I was hoping the sun was going to make me more flexible. Perfect. Okay. Staying on the front, we've got prone quads. Okay. So we're going to start. Doesn't really matter which one you start with. I'll just start with one that's facing you guys. Heel into your backside. Knees close together. Head down. Just pull that heel in so you feel that stretch through the quads. Now. I like it in this position because when you do it standing, you tend to cheat through your hip. You don't get as good a specific stretch in the quads. But with this, you can, and then you can even, if possible, pull your heat, your knee off the deck. I struggle partly because of my back and partly because my quads are quite tight. But do what you can and just sustain that stretch best you can. Perfect. I'll go round the other side. You guys stay on your fronts. Again, heel in, and then I can definitely get more range in this one. So hopefully I can demonstrate the knee up, so it's there, hips flat on the floor, and keep that stretch on, try and keep that sustained. That's halfway. You right there Rocco? Ten seconds guys. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go into like a downward dog position this time. So, I'm on the mats there. We're going to be here, and you're going to push, and then relax. And push, and relax. So it's a double, double calf. Now some of you might feel a stretch when you're in that position like I do. Some of you might feel it when you're in that position. Alright, but you're just trying to drive through the calves in both positions. It's so there and then push, nice, and there, and push, and there, and push, nearly at the end guys, last one, perfect, right, crucifix, I did this one the other day, let's hope I've got a bit, enough space, so, here, leg over, arms, <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me, been pumped full of lead. Oh, I've got cramp in my toe. Right. <laughs> and we're just there, shoulder over the far side. <laughs> it's awful. Well done, guys. So you should be feeling it down through here. I'm struggling to get my arm right over. Try and get your shoulders flat, leg over the far side. going this way otherwise I'll be smacking the fence. So into that crucifix position, leg up, twist over, beautiful. Definitely better on this side for me. You guys might find you kick inside more flexible. There's definitely going to be a dis uh, discrepancy between your right and your left abilities. This is one you can actually, if you don't get cramp in your toe, you can relax nicely into. Perfect. Last one then. In the child's pose. Front all fours. Settle yourself in. Drop the, the back side back. Work those fingers forward. And really feel that stretch. After a few seconds, if you want, you can walk your hands around one side, keep the bum back, feel that stretch, and then walk it around the opposite. And again, you should be feeling that stretch down through the lats here. Nice. 
and back into middle for the last few seconds really push down perfect that's your stretch set done for today